Alright, uh What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. You know what I'm saying? We chilling, we vibing, we in here rocking out, you know what I'm saying? And uh you need to like, comment, subscribe, and follow your boy. You know, you come join the Moon Village today. I am the Ryu Kage. And uh this is the Moon Village. And I bro, I need to get shirts and shit made. That's what I need to start looking at. How to get hoodies and stuff, man. Ooh, if I get hoodies for DreamCon, that'll be fire. Like, take stuff out, take merch out there to pass out to people while I'm cosplaying as the Red Ranger. Bro, that'll be dope, won't it? Oh, yeah, I got a mission now. Anyway, um... Yeah, come rock with your boy. Come, 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 join. You know what I'm saying? Socials are in the description. Oh, please follow me on. Uh, what you say? It's funny how people are making fun of in front of my face, thinking I don't know, but inside I'm laughing. KJ, bro, listen, man. School is like that, bro. Like school is so fucked up, man. And. All those folks that, like, be joking on you and shit like that, when y'all graduate and get old and stuff and y'all get 10 years later, when you done graduated from college and stuff, them gonna be the main niggas that are bums. They gonna be bums and you gonna be living your life, making bread, laughing at them while they all bumming and they gonna be trying to be your friend or trying to get hired or coming to you and be like, hey, man, put me on, or, like, can you give me a job or this, that, and third. Them be the main niggas that ain't got shit going on with their life, bro. So just keep rocking, bro. Do what you gotta do what you gotta do. Stay focused. Get them grades. Graduate. Anyway, you know I gotta, you know I gotta my my youngest man. I gotta 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 be there for him. Anyway, rated. You need to uh not rated. KJ, if you ever wanna talk or something, uh, add me on like my socials and stuff, and like you know just like keep keep me keep me in touch with what you got going on you know what i'm saying let me like keep me in touch with shit like that but uh and if you ever need to talk your boy here but uh what i was saying uh youtube like subscribe to your boy um share the channels like y'all been doing i see y'all i see y'all watching bro i see y'all fucking with me you know we got we on the road we got to get to 300 by the end of april that's that's my next that's my new goal right now and I'm trying to get to 500 so I can be a part of the uh, it's the creator whatever the creators thing. I don't know if it's a program, but I'm able to start monetizing videos and stuff like that at 500, and that's my new goal. So like the 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 subplot 300 followers, end goal 500 followers. And after that, we can start a new season or whatever and get there. But um, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everything y'all do for me. All my people on YouTube, I fuck with y'all. I see y'all coming. I, I may not get to you as quick because I, they got the notifications weird and stuff. But, like, I see y'all, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Anyway, this video is, uh, she exposes the sad reality, reality of some Atlanta woman, of uh, some Atlanta single woman. This is another video from J.R. Wisdom. We fuck with him. He a cool guy. You know, y'all go subscribe. And another thing. All the videos that I react to and stuff, they're going to be in the description. We don't need nobody coming after me trying to, like, take down my videos and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, show them some love, too. So, uh, let's get it started. I work a little part-time job. I do lift every single day. I take catering jobs here and there. And nothing to show for it, like not a thing, not one. It's to the point where like I've cut out everything. I don't have my own place anymore. Where are people working? What are y'all doing? Where you could afford basic life needs and necessities and still have your life and enjoy some part of your life, like. I need to know what people are doing that I'm not doing because your girl is burnt the fuck out. Like, burnt out. I work a little part-time job. I do lift every single- And them be the- I'm gonna go and tell you right now, girl. Them be the girls that are telling niggas- 
or they they got a nigga in their phone that says food. They got a nigga in their phone that says free trips. They got a nigga in their phone that for everything. Them be the girls that sell their attention to dudes and use sex as monetization and use attention as currency. Attention a new currency and that's what they doing. And you living you living life right, but they 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 not. So I'm just being real with you. Single day. I take catering jobs here and there. And nothing to show for it. Like not a thing. Not one. It's to the point where like I've cut out everything. I don't have my own place anymore. Haven't had my nails done in months. Haven't had my hair done in months. And I'm still, I'm not saving. <laughs> the bills that I do have is not stopping. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And like, I see my friends like just living life. It's to the point I don't even really hang out with my friends anymore because I feel so low after hanging out with people. I feel like a loser, like a bum after hanging out with people. Because I'd be like, my friends, like they travel a lot, all of them travel a lot, can come and go as they please, shop. Like a busy day to them is going to get their lashes and their nails done and going to Target and going to get groceries or something and then going to get a cocktail. Like that's a busy day for them. And after I hang with them, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I have to, like, sit, when I spend money to do anything to enjoy myself or on myself, like, I really have to think and put thought into it. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? Like, I see people, out, like, right now, I'm doing lift right now, and I just see people, like, out going to brunch and going to day parties and... I'm doing this. Like, as an adult, I've literally had one job that's paid a livable wage. And livable wage to me is, like, I could pay all of my bills, really with one paycheck, and still have enough money to do things I wanted to do and live my best life. So I'm going to stop her right there, guys, before we finish the rest of this clip. This video is not to make fun of this young lady, but this is adulting. This is adulting, especially, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying you're strong and independent, but it appears to be that you're strong and independent. You're trying to make it. This is Atlanta. You got some hustles. You got a lot of gig hustles going on. And you said you don't have a place anymore. So I'm assuming either you move back in with somebody or you got a roommate, which is what some people just have to do. This is what planning comes into play. Now, I don't know, which I might have some when I go back, when I'm editing this video, I'll have some of her videos because this video has gone viral, how she looks physically, body wise. But I know Atlanta is one of those tough cities as well, but there's always somebody for everybody, right? So that's one of the things definitely to work. She's not ugly. She's a good looking girl. Like she fine to me, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, but you, but then again, you in Atlanta and I'm in Alabama, so in georgia them niggas may see her and think she a three <laughs> just being real and but she come over here alabama she may be a nine to another nigga you know what i'm saying especially to niggas that don't travel you know and that's and that's the one thing like once you start traveling out there where you start seeing like just the water that some women drink just be way different than the water you used to back at home, bro. And I'm just keeping it real. But anyway, uh, she probably moved. Like, first off, ain't nothing wrong with living with your parents. So I don't, I don't know why people. I don't know why people get upset when they have to move back in with their parents, per se. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, it may hit your um your pride or something, but there's nothing wrong with that. I uh I'm some but I'm somebody that live with my uh family. But uh you know, I had and it happened because like I went through my disability stuff and like um disabled or whatever. But uh 
There's nothing wrong with that. I don't want. I hate that. Like, pe- and then on top of that, the economy now. Like, the economy is fucked up now. Like, it, people are living paycheck to paycheck, and like the rich is getting way, way richer, and the poor is getting way, 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 way poorer. And so, like, if you have to move in with your folks or, or your or your family, your brother, your sister, to to get your bread, get your bread right to to do some, or you know, wait till you can get into a, a stable relationship or get married to move out, then that's what you just gotta do. And that's another thing, like people like be trying to move out and live on their own and stuff like that. Man, back in the back in like the bible times and stuff people didn't move out until they was like uh, getting married and or you know they was 40 and even still like the man stayed home only the women moved out and moved in with the man because you was getting like your like your wife becomes your wife you know so she's a part of your family like you know they give them away and then like you take over your dad's farm and stuff and like and then you what take care of him and his and you take care of you, him and his mom and stuff like that. that's why they was like so that's one of the reasons like they were so bent on like having sons and stuff like you can have a daughter but like your daughter is going to eventually leave you and join her family but your son is going to take care of you and your wife and like take over your farm and stuff and, but uh yeah she in atlanta if i was her if she, if she got a bunch of side businesses and she got her degree or whatever her job is she she could move like she could move to a, a country town and you know a city that's like move to a city that's like you know not high maintenance like fucking atlanta hell go to like augusta move to decatur some madonna who somewhere where she ain't gotta like spend a lot of money to live in that shit is crazy work on is hang out in those spots Add for you to compare something. yourself you feel low you got all these friends that you hang out with ask them what it is that they're doing but i know a lot of people mm-hmm. like i don't want to do that because they'll talk about me so on and so forth you gotta put your pride to the side baby on top of that they probably just selling cuckoo or doing what i told you they got niggas to send them money now it's not 10 Women just got niggas to send them money because them niggas thinking they're going to eventually hit. And some of them are. And that's what I'm saying. The nigga that's hitting is the most bummiest nigga possible. The Pookie and Ray Ray. And he hitting for free. He ain't got to do He ain't gotta do none of that shit that she making all the other niggas do. And that's how uh, most women operate. And it's so fucked up. If you feel like you might need to get a man in your life to supplement so y'all can go 50 50, which is basically showing a lot of men that you're willing to work. Because if you out here struggling, that might be what you need. You're a woman at the end of the day. It's not vice versa. You're a woman. You should be able to get a man somehow. Work on that body. Work on how to win friends and influence people. Don't wait for Prince Charming, as I always tell women when I do sessions with them. Don't be waiting for Prince Charming to come knock on your door. You might have to be more sociable. You're in a job, live. You're talking to people, so just do that or find a, an right. occupation that suits you and work on that while you. And that's another thing. Women be so scared to come after men now, bro. No, these men are scared to talk to y'all. Girls, y'all better shoot y'all motherfucking shot. Like today, yesterday. Like women are so evil nowadays, they done made it niggas scared to just look their way. So you see a nigga that's ca- catching your eye and you feel like he finna get away, man, go shoot your motherfucking shot and 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 be happy. And if he said what's the worst he can say? No. And you y'all got to understand like that's what we, that's how we operate. What's the worst they can say? No. Hell. It's when they say yes, you need to be like, oh, shit. Like, what I do next? You know what I'm saying? Like, I expect the no. But if they say yes, then, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You got to figure out what to do from there. And that's like, bro, y'all got to. Man, I coach these women. I get them right. I get them right, man. They can't be scared, man you doing these gigs on your free time but let's finish up this clip and see what else she has to talk about let's go mm-hmm. 
But now... And then on top of that, hell, you probably do need to... Like, he right, you probably do need a man. Because a man is is willing to work them hard laborers jobs for that money to get right especially he provide for somebody and he gonna get he gonna get that hard earned money and he and you know what I'm saying a lot of women probably working you know the little laid back chill job not saying they ain't working hard like they probably working a lot of mental jobs and shit like that but they not in that hot heat and sweat and stuff you know what I'm saying getting that Thirty dollars an hour and shit like that. Thirty five dollars an hour, like welders and shit. I don't know what's going on in my life. Like, I feel like I chose the want to live my dreams, one the creative route, and I wasted so much time, and I should have went to be a nurse or something or got a corporate job or something because now life sucks for real like i don't enjoy anything about life like i like really never have for the most part like as a whole but life is not enjoyable to me like nothing about it like i just get up every day and like just exist and do the things that i feel like i need to do i go to work and then i go home get up the next day and do the same thing like i'm just existing like i don't know even with catering like um getting a legit client is so far in between like people will have you that ask you a bunch of questions i'll put together like a beautiful ass menu a quote invite and stuff and then maybe nothing will come of it or you chasing people down to pay or it's just like and it gets to be not worth it and that's something that I enjoy and it makes me hate it because I do need the money so girl that just come with it bro and and I'm, and I'm speaking from my life as a DJ like you know how many folks just hit me up to, to see how much I charge or this and the third man that don't come up with it where like I wish I could get paid to tell how many people I get paid how much I charge and shit like that that shit is annoying when they want quotas they just be looking for the cheapest people bro and people that deserve your talent and to deserve your shit bro they gonna they gonna come find you and they gonna they gonna uh be thankful hell what i did when i wanted to rebrand my dj and stuff to let folks i was back djing i uh i i got i knew a couple of my friends were um getting married and they had asked me to dj so i charged all of them like a, a super cheap ass price just to get booked because i knew that like nine out of ten when you get booked by somebody somebody there is going to see you and ask for your number or want you to do a event for them this that, and the third like it's always you always got to think about your next business move so when i told my friends like i'm finna charge you this but don't you dare tell nobody don't even speak about how much i charge because it's different for everybody but i'm charging you this because you the homie so i had like six friends that had their weddings like all back to back to back to back and then i kid you not i took pictures and everything got videos of it met people there and then i advertised all that stuff and then i charged my actual price so people was thinking that all of them paid that price and then i did they were and then that's how you get the ball rolling you just go from there and and the good business if you reaching out to me and i'm putting in the work and then nothing comes of it that shit is frustrating and get deposit you don't need to start working boo boo until they send a motherfucking deposit they don't send a deposit you ain't you do not start working that's nothing folks be out here breaking their back before they get a deposit no no i'm not doing shit till you send me a deposit and it's a non-refundable deposit it's, i don't know what am i supposed to be doing like what is i don't know what is everybody doing like where you go for it'd be so many people that send me a deposit but they may cancel last minute because they can't finish the money that non-refundable deposit be coming in clutch 
Man, listen, man. And I know she ain't gonna never see this, but she if you ever see this girl, get them deposits. For it to live life, like I th if I didn't have my car, which I'm so grateful for my car, like I would literally be so lost. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But nobody else really cares, so um decided to make a video <laughs> and I get tired of hearing your time is coming it's gonna be all right your time coming soon da, 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 da. I'm so tired of hearing that shit so I don't know our other people so many people be praying on your downfall too that's that's when you have to that's when you have to like stop telling people your dreams or so stop telling people what you want to do and just get tunnel vision and, and just focus up and just rock out and do your thug thizzle and everything will pay off eventually people going through this well from what i gather at least you're not a single mother and this is what i tell a lot of single women who i've coached in the past who don't have kids who do something similar and they're just getting by, but it's the hustle, baby. You in Atlanta, a lot of women move to Atlanta, which there's means women moving to Atlanta saying they're going to start over, start a new life and live this luxurious life that you see on Instagram, but it always doesn't end this way. Baby, you got a car, which is true. You don't have any kids. You got nothing but time to make money. You got nothing but time to research how to make money. Like you said, you didn't choose the corporate route and you thought that you was gonna make it as a creative. Like that one video I did, the woman who went to Houston broke, but she was a single mom. She thought she was gonna make it. You gotta have a plan, baby. And nothing but time is time that you should be planning that. You feel me? You should be planning that. It's not just all this. You can say my time's coming, my time's coming, but if you're not putting in the work, all this stuff, for some people it is full-time, it's what they do, but a lot of times for some people it's for supplemental income or means to an end. It's about the presentation. You're talking about catering, it's about the presentation. If people don't know about you, how they gonna book you? Just my thoughts. It's you. The city provides opportunity. You in a city of nothing but opportunity. So you should take advantage of it and not just get on here. I know you saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm pretty sure a lot of people commented what you should be doing. You can get all the advice in the world, but unless you act upon it, it's not going to happen. You got to come to your own rescue. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. The world doesn't owe you understanding on anything. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And then with the catering stuff, hell, she she on one of the perfect business, man. You need to do a couple of shit for for the homies, get a bunch of pictures and shit, man. And then like pay for them little Facebook marketing, whatever, with all her pictures and stuff, and throw her number at the bottom. Man, there's so many, man, there's so many ways to get to it and market and stuff, man. I promise you, all right, man. I tell her how to get to. it. I'm a hustler though. I'm going to find a way to get my shit out there for real. Anyway, um, I don't want to make this video too long. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to 500, trying to get 300 by the end of April, man. Y'all, please look out for your boy. Please do that. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with me, please follow me on my socials, man. I need I need that check on my socials, man. I need to, I need to get my follower count up on my socials, too. And that way, um, I know some people like said like, you know, post stuff on TikTok or stream on TikTok and I can't do that without followers. So like, you know, if y'all can please so kindly when you follow me on when you subscribe to me on uh YouTube, go down, click a link, click one of the links, you know, follow me on YouTube. I mean follow me on Instagram or follow me on TikTok, whichever social you use. Or follow me on both or follow me on, and follow me on Twitter too. You know, just help me out. Just I need to just grow all these social media things as a whole. And I appreciate that. Anyway, Lunar out. Peace out.